R98 C-Ray 370 Sundancer is equipped with a C-Land slash Dometic Vacu Flush uh, toilet system. And this video is going to show you how to replace the duckbill valves. So before you start working on the pump, make sure you turn the breaker off at the panel. First step is to take off the outlet hose that is coming off the pump itself. Just uh, take those two hose clamps off and remove that hose and that is going to expose the outward section. Careful when you're doing this so you don't have any splash back. <laughs> That's me how I know. Carefully removing that piece, that pipe, and there will be two duckbill valves in there. One on either end of it. You see that is actually a two-piece pipe. Now your system might look a little bit different, but they all work the same way. It's just the pump inlet hose, pump, and duckbill valves. Duckbill valves on either side. So once the new duckbill valves are in, just make sure they are orientated away from the pump. And then screw those back together, and then that will just uh, simply thread back onto the pump itself. So that goes on just hand tight. Remember it's plastic, so don't uh, over tighten it or strip the threads because then they'll just be, uh, they'll be frustrated. Now the second part of the equation is to remove, again, the way this one is set up, uh, there are four uh, stainless steel mounting bolts, boom, there you see right there. So I remove those, which will let me move the, the pump itself away from the accumulator tank. As you can see, I got ahead of myself there by putting the hose on the outlet side. I just gotta remove that so I can move the pump forward to get at the duckbill valves that are in the back side of that uh, assembly. Once those four bolts are removed, that gives me an opportunity to move the whole pump assembly away. And you see that is threaded on just hand tight to remove it from the vacuum accumulator tank because that back section has, again, like I said, two more uh, duckbill valves. Now these are the actual Dometic brand. They are the good ones, the expensive ones. I'll leave a link down in the description uh, to Amazon and you can see if you need those. Word to the wise, if you're ever gonna do this job, replace all four. Don't replace one or two or say, you know, it's hard to get at that back side. You don't wanna do this shitty job and have to redo it in a few weeks because you missed a couple of those duckbill valves. So just do it all together. So like I said, that comes apart. That is just a threaded piece of pipe. It's a bad design as far as I'm concerned because um, it threads in on both sides. One threads into, as you can see, I'm threading that into the pump itself. And then the other side threads onto the accumulator tank. So you have to be careful not to strip that. I'm using my pipe wrench, but I'm staying within the center part, so I'm not going to strip the threads that actually thread into the pump or the accumulator tank. So uh, be careful you don't strip those threads, because again, you'll be cursing it if you do. So that is uh, the two. Sorry, I didn't show you putting the first one in, but there's one towards the front, towards the actual, in this view, to the right side, towards the pump itself, and then you can see the other one is back at the uh, accumulator tank. Once again, uh, be careful when you're threading that back on. Be very, very gentle with it. You see I'm moving the pump around just so I'm not cross-threading and just getting that started. And that just hand tights as well. That's just a plastic thread on piece, a nut I guess you would call it. And so you don't want to break that or strip it, especially on an older uh, boat that may have started to uh, deteriorate because of UV light onto the plastic so just be careful with that don't break it so once i got that back on like I say just hand tight and i'm just slipping that hose on just because it's exposed stinky poo poo smells and so i just put that on there and try to contain that a little bit 
wipe my hands regularly and please don't yell and scream at me and say oh my god Paul you should have gloves on well I'm gonna say this about that you should have gloves on when you're doing this job absolutely So here I am just tightening down the four mounting bolts and once again this the, this is the configuration of how this works. On a previous boat the accumulator tank was completely separate from this but the, the whole system works the same way. So a quick overview of how the system works. First we have the electric motor that runs the bellows pump right there that will go up and down creating the vacuum in the accumulator tank that is the vacuum switch it's set to come on at a certain vacuum level and go off when it reaches the, the limit so that will create vacuum and hold it inside that tank right so that'll shut off when you flush boom here it comes from the toilet down into there and it goes and it is sucked out the actual holding tank so last couple of parts to put on, that is just the cover over the motor so that the motor's not exposed. So it's all back together and good to go. I'm just going to turn the pump back on and I'm going to give the toilet a flash. Yes, I have washed my hands. Now it's creating vacuum. Beautiful. Fix it. So like I say, it's a it's a shitty job, but somebody's gotta do it. If you are not comfortable with doing something like this, uh, you can hire the, the marina to do it. Probably won't charge you an arm and a leg. But it's good to know for yourself use the boat a lot if you travel a lot at least you have a heads up and a little bit more confidence and understanding if you have to replace those duck bill bells so that's it for this one as always please look down in the description i leave a link to uh, all my how i did it videos i have well over 100 and there's probably a dozen or more just on the vacuum flush system i've replaced the holding tanks on two of our fire boats which was a huge job on both both of those and yeah, we fixed everything, we replaced all the lines on our 400 sedan bridge. And I've done everything that there is to do on these uh, vacuum flush systems. So if you are having issues, take a look at that playlist and maybe you'll find something to help you out. And again, if you got any questions, leave me a comment, ask a question. Or if you don't have a question, just let me know what you thought of this video. And no, I don't know what else when I do these jobs, <laughs> but that's okay. Alrighty, my friends, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers!